I've got a confession from the off folks. I'm going to be pronouncing the name of the place I'm in today. Wrong, because where I am, Bath. I find it very difficult to say that because I'm from the Midlands and we don't speak posh, we say bath. So excuse me if I don't say bath anymore in this video. I find it almost impossible to even make that sound. I find it easier to speak in a foreign accent like Australian than I do to say bath. But that's where I am today. And the one thing that most people think of when they think of bath, apart from the amazing architecture, look at the abbey there, look at the Roman baths over there to the right, and a few uh, tourists still hanging around, waiting to enter. Look at the old Roman baths. But the thing that it's probably noted for just as much as the architecture is the fact that it's probably the poshest place in England, maybe the UK. And old Wendell here, he doesn't really uh, fit in well in posh places. Don't get me wrong, I, uh, I went to school and I did my sums and uh, learnt what I needed to learn and I appreciate some of the finer things in life. But really, I don't really fit in in posh places. So I've been wandering around over the last 24 hours, seeing how nice and genteel and wonderful everything is. But to be honest, I fancy a bit of filth. And I've come across this business that sells amazing hamburgers. Schwarz Brothers Burgers, they've been making them since 1977, apparently they're the best dirty burgers in Bath. There's amazing architecture all over the UK, but it's often like spoiled by these disgusting buildings from like the 60s and 70s, really like brutalist, nasty buildings. And that isn't really the case in Bath, even these buildings, which were obviously built a lot more recently than the amazing old architecture. They're, uh, they're more like sympathetic to the rest of the surroundings. So if it's beautiful, I think it's Georgian architecture. It isn't spoilt by these um, ugly, disgusting, like 60s and 70s horrors. Everywhere you look, folks, absolutely stunning Georgian architecture. I am no uh, architect, no student of architecture and I hope that I've got the period correct. I think it's Georgian. Anyway, another beautiful church here. Just amazing buildings everywhere you go in the centre of Bath. We've wandered quite far out as well and uh, still a, a pretty town even on the outskirts. Even the Waitrose, which is, I think it's more newly built, I think so, fits in. Everything has to fit in with the beautiful historic architecture. But enough of the architecture, enough of the uh, poshness of Bath. You walk around and uh, everyone's quite rather nice really. Most people you speak to, they speak awfully nicely and they're, uh, they're rather, rather well to do. So let's see if the idea of a dirty burger, a filthy cheeseburger is what I think it is being a uh, far more filthy individual than the locals here in Bath. If anything, it's a little bit too nice for me. I'll, I'll say that. I like a little bit of an edge. Um, I don't like places to be too perfect. I must say that Bath is probably one of the cleanest places. And back in the centre there, I'm saying that as it's a bit more grimy as I'm getting out. Bath is one of the cleanest towns I've ever been to in the UK absolutely spotless but I think they must keep the town centre really clean because they expect so many tourists to visit all the time. And here we are, Schwarz Bros Gourmet Burger Takeaway and they've been grilling away since 1977. I don't know, I mean it's, it's still quite early. What time are we on? We're on 3.54, so 5 to 4. I don't know how many people will be looking to get a greasy cheeseburger at five to four. Let's see. You've been ambushed, haven't you? I could tell by the look on your face. <laughs> I've never had this before, no. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so what's for, what's like the classic the cheeseburger classic. that you do? What, what? Uh, so we do do a normal cheeseburger here. Yeah. So I said they're all quite popular, so. What do you go for? What's your favorite? I go for, I, think the, I said the garlic mayo cheeseburger is probably the most popular. Okay. 
Would you like a bit of spice, the roadhouse chili? Are oh, they quite big as well? Uh, I'd say they're enough. I'd say a double's probably a little bit too much. Yeah, because um, I don't know if I'm going to take some back and share it with the missus or not. Or... I'm going to go for your classic cheeseburger. Classic cheeseburger, um, yeah. Let's get, let's get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no worries. Uh, yeah. Anything else for this one? No, I'll be fine, buddy. Yeah. So, but that'll be uh, ten pound exactly. Okay. Because the thing that took my uh, my attention is that it's been going since 1977. Yeah, I mean, uh, so like, there's so many of these like <laughs> you know like dirty cheeseburger places like Americana that have cropped yeah. up. But the fact that this has been going since 1977. Yeah, so, yeah, we've, I think you said it's been so many like. Like companies just fall, yeah. and then we've just somehow stayed the whole time. Right? Yeah, yeah. I was fancying a burger early, earlier, and I was in the town centre, and then I saw Five Guys. Yeah, that's so that's where our other shop is. Though. Yeah, right next, next door. Yeah. That that must have been cheeky, man. Five Guys oh, coming yeah. all the way over. <laughs> you guys must have been there before. Oh yeah, they've only been there I think two years. Yeah, year. yeah. Everyone always questions like, oh, right, are we gonna like lose our business and that? But yeah, I think it will kind of just. Stayed the same really. Yeah, it's quite good. Cause we, all the, the owner thought it'd be alright, but we all thought maybe like we'd just drop. Yeah, but uh, it's been alright. And it's been owned by the same family since yeah, seventy seven. Yeah, so it's, it's one bloke that owns it now. Yeah, it was him and his mate started it obviously back in the day. Yeah, and then I think he bought it out from yeah. the bloke. Yeah, he having it all himself. Yeah, and yeah, it's just. Yeah. Done everything by himself. It's really cool, but yeah. like an independent business, it's got like it's just. Yeah. I can tell already. I mean, I haven't eaten your burger, but <laughs> you haven't sold out. Like it's not gimmicky. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, has the menu always been like this since the, the start, or is it grown? Yeah, or? yeah uh, I'm not sure. Since I've been here, it's been like exactly the same. Obviously, the prices are rising and rising. Well, you haven't been here since '77. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he said it has always been. What it is? Yeah. Obviously, I think there's loads of stuff that he's like taken off the menu. Yeah. Which I heard he used to like, well, drink white juice, like coffees and like yeah. orange juice. They give them like big orange juice machine and that. But yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. what we've got, you think he's always had that to be fair. Yeah. But the big compliment is that the, uh, it's a lot of veggie burgers. Yeah. Obviously, like the vegans yeah. now with uh, bread. Like, yeah. oh, what, what have you got? We tell them it's like, wow, there's so many options. Yeah. And you've memorised all these, like this huge menu. Oh yeah, you're gonna kind of get used to it. Yeah. Like, people always come and ask them what's the most like popular one, but it's just they're all popular, so it's just, yeah. You have to all, every day you're making at least one of each. So every burger joint I go to, the one way you have to measure a burger joint, you've got to go for the classic cheeseburger. Classic, yeah. Yeah. Then like from there, you know, you you investigate the other toppings from yeah. there. So yeah. people normally even just get like a standard one. You get a few people that just take those stuff off, but like, you can't be taking stuff off. Yeah. With such an elaborate menu like yeah. that, like yeah, and you get some people that just chuck everything on. They want like extra, like what jalapenos, gherkins. Some people like extra pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always like a big like variety of everything, which is quite good. Yeah. What's living in Bath like as well? See, I, I normally make videos because I live in Cornwall, oh, even though yeah. I'm in the middle. I live in Cornwall, yeah. and uh, I make a lot of videos around there and abroad and stuff. But what's what's because t- to me, Bath's like the poshest town in the UK. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, there's lots of t- lots of lot of tourism. Yeah. There's a lot of like, well, there's student houses everywhere. Half yeah. big, I think I have to see just students now. Yeah. A lot of tourism. A lot of um, a lot of young people from Cornwall come to uni in Bath. Uni in Bath. It's, it's yeah. like ironically, it's three and a half hours exactly. away. I think it's half the people that work here are all students. Yeah. 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 So you're studying now, are you? I'm not. I'm just from Bath. I finished college about two years ago. I'm just here for a bit. But yeah. But you like working here. It's not bad working, obviously the hours kind of are a bit... Like all your mates are out in yeah. the evening and you're, but you're grilling. Yeah, but we're here at uni, they obviously do uni work in the day and then yeah. they have to get some hours in the evening. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you're full time are you? I am, oh, almost. Yeah. I'm always doing full time. I, yeah. I don't want to be here too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But well nobody does want to be at work too much, but yeah. So what's, what, what the uh, veggies on this? Uh, we have lettuce, onions. And also you've got the tomato like relish here. Yeah. And we add a bit of cheese onto it as well. Yeah, sorry, I'm leaning over it. No, right. I'm trying to get the shot. Yeah. <laughs> You'll remember me now. You'll be like, I thought today was going to be really boring at work. And then this... <laughs> it has been very boring today. Not anymore, no. This, this weird guy just ambushes you <laughs> with a camera with a bright fluorescent hat on and just so, starts grilling you. 
I'll be in that group, always we got like a work, like a work chat. I think before I've noticed around the other shop, that in the summer, yeah, we've had a few people on their YouTube channels yeah. come in, but. I never, like normally, like I do a bit of research, this was like a really last minute idea. Really? I was like, I want to get a burger, like screw it, I'll take the camera out. And uh, normally I've done a bit more research, so I probably would have watched those videos. Watched it, yeah. But this is guerrilla style, I've just, <laughs> I've just come straight out, yeah. I'll probably eat half of it here, but I promised I'll take the other half back yeah. to the missus, is that I right? cut it in half if you like, a lot of people do order if you want Is that pain to. in the arse? No, I've got that there as well. So yeah. yeah, and can yeah. you wrap it in two bits as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm surprised by how many people actually order that, to be fair. Yeah. A lot of people do want it cut in half. I mean, that doesn't seem a lot of food to me. Like, to be honest, this is like, the missus wants to go out for like a nice meal later. Yeah. I'm sure this for me will be nicer. <laughs> but, um, so I can't eat too much. That's why I've only got like oh, a small... Oh, half yeah. a nice little yeah, so like snack. Yeah. I was really taken by the garlic mayo cheeseburger because I'm a garlic fiend. But um, so I said, I think she don't like garlic, so really? that would have, that would have uh, got me in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah I think garlic's one of the most popular ones. Yeah. Obviously, I had the cheese dogs. Everyone just if they just come in and like, oh, can I get a cheeseburger? But if they actually probably look, yeah, I said most of them do go for like a garlic made cheeseburger. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very popular. Just means no action later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially if your missus is a vampire. So the vegans will probably know, want to know about what you do. Is that like the bean burger? So the bean burger is vegan, yeah. yeah. Obviously just, we can't add the cheese, so we'll do the cheese off this one. Yeah. Obviously the veggie patties are all vegan as well. Yeah. But once again, we can't have any of the gar we can't have any of the mayonnaise or the cheese. Yeah. So the popular one's probably, it's actually the veggie roadhouse, so the spicy one. Like yeah. Just take the cheese, that seems to be the very popular one. Yeah. I, I think that um, like if, you, if you're going to go down that vegan route, yeah. To get a lot of flavour into things, a bit that of does, heat yeah. does help. It does, it, it yeah. just does seem the way. Healthy eating in general, like yeah. um, well, if you need a bit of extra flavour, just a bit. Of you're gonna remove a bit of fat. If you're gonna remove a bit of cheese, a bit mm -hmm. of creamy sauce, mm -hmm. heat yeah. ca can sort of yeah, like replace it. Thought about it but when, when you realise that most people do just get a bit of spice in it, it just yeah, yeah, it does make sense to be fair. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna cut it in half, were you? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in this bag. It's easier to cut in half. Oh, okay, you know what so. you're doing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I'll just shut that in the, yeah, in sweet, the bag. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. 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 Would I get two and one, or would I get this one and that one and that one in a separate I'm gonna eat the one, so just put the one in and I'll just grab the other one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No I've paid you, haven't I? Yeah. 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 Some so that's me, yeah. yeah. And then I can put this in the other bag if you like. Yeah, bag that up yeah. and uh, maybe like leave it under the light there yeah, if that's yeah, alright. Yeah, and I'll quickly uh, chow down on this yeah, no because people want to know what it tastes like. So I've got my half of a classic cheeseburger there. I know this seems like a real letdown because you expect me to have this huge double cheeseburger since I've come here. But as I've said, going out for a meal later, but I probably won't film because that would ruin the uh, romance and ambiance. So just this little, uh, it's almost like a slider, is it? What's your name, mate? Uh, Tyler. Tyler, yeah. Ollie, yeah, Wendell. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. So we're gonna set up here on the old tripod. Maybe this video will just be completely uncut on editing, we never know. So what have we got again? We've got cheddar cheese, got, beef patty. Uh, you've got like a tomato, red sauce, lemon, yeah. onions, yeah. and then two slices of cheddar cheese. Yeah, and, and what weight are the burgers? Uh, quarter pounders. Quarter pounders, yeah. yeah. So I've got a little uh, eighth of a pounder. Let's get close in. I'm quite looking forward to this. This is a perfectly toasted bun as well. <laughs> like, still soft, but soft, with a crisp, yeah. yeah. That's a good, ju juicy burger. I would say that it's like, it's a burger that's almost done like the old fashioned way. Like Tyler's wandered off as well. He's probably listening to what I'm saying, reviewing the burger. But um, yeah, that, it's like a good old fashioned hamburger. Mm, it's nice standard. Yeah. Yeah. And the ingredients, like they're all like fresh. Like all fresh, fresh yeah. cut on the day, made on the day. Yeah. Do you freeze your patties in any way? Or? Uh, so they are when they cut, we'll put it also we don't defrost it. Yeah. And then we'll just press it down. Yeah. Press them in a little presser. And yeah. what um what cut of meat do you use for the beef? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't say Irish type of beef. Right? Okay, yeah. I'm not sure. You don't know like what cut of the cow or yeah. Know. 
Right? Yeah, normally like there's like you have to get like certain like like uh, mix of different cuts. Yeah. Um, people in the comments are probably uh, no more than me and right more because you need a perfect fat ratio. Yeah. This has got a really good fat ratio because you need that yeah, fiber. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You were you you'd have done your homework if you knew I was coming in. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot there. This is a juicy burger. I'm going to chow into this. Tyler's going to find out what cuts, whether it's like a mix of um, brisket and short rib or stuff like that. We'll find that out before the end of the video. And uh, I'm really liking the tomato relish and the cheese is incredible. Like it's quite a mature, tangy cheddar. Perfectly toasted bun. Very crisp, fresh, shredded lettuce. Wendell's going to chow down. We'll find out what cuts of meat we've got. And, uh, yeah, well, thank Tyler for letting us ambush him. Right on. It's like juicy, but not dripping messy. It doesn't say. I thought it might have said it on the box. Okay. But it doesn't say. Well, it says from Ireland. That's all. That's mm -hmm. all I kind of knew about this. Do you eat a burger every day? Uh, I don't know. I think some people do. You don't look like you do. <laughs> I think once a week I might treat myself to it, but mm. we'll see. So you don't get free burgers? Yeah, you do. Okay. You do, yeah. Well, you get one, you get one per shift, mm. but I just try not to. So you've been here 45 yeah. years? Yeah. That's insane. And I don't think it's changed at all. No, no. no. Spotlessly clean as well, as always, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, try, try most of the time. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, man. Yeah, thanks for yeah. Uh, letting yeah, me no come worries. in. I'll get that other bit to take away. Yeah. I'll just clean myself up. Cheers, man. So there you go, folks. That is Schwartz Brothers Bath's Gourmet Burger Takeaway. And I will say that it did taste quite fresh. Um, it's probably not like the oozing with cheese, um, you know, sort of like a thing that you kind of expect from Five Guys. Definitely less of an American cheeseburger, I'd call it. Uh, a bit more of like a, sort of like, um, I don't know, like where I'm from, uh, near, near Staffordshire, uh, Wimpy was the chain years ago, I think there's still one, um, not far from Stafford. A bit like a Wimpy burger, if any of you know Wimpy, then that is a real niche hamburger chain from back in the day, so uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Wimpy, I think they were a bit more countrywide, maybe like back in the 90s, 80s, yeah, a bit like that, but yeah, price-wise, pretty expensive. That was £10 for that quarter pound of cheeseburger. I know things have gone up, but 10 quid for a simple cheeseburger, that's quite a lot. Um, I wouldn't be going there every week just because of the price. Didn't really want to say that to young Tyler. Might have put him in an awkward position when I was in front of him. Yeah, 10 is steep, but you're supporting a local business. The, uh, the place seems really authentic and genuine. Seems um, a very favoured local place. He seems quite happy to work there as well. Friendly, you know what I mean? Like you walk straight in, shove a camera in front of someone's face and uh, tell them they're gonna be in a YouTube video. He was probably just there on his phone thinking he's gonna have a quiet shift and in comes old Wendell. So yeah, would I recommend Schwarz Bros Burgers? I would, yeah. Um, bring a tenner at least. Some of the burgers were like 12 quid. Uh, get pretty creative as well, but good succulent, juicy beef, really tangy mature cheddar cheese, well toasted bun, that tomato relish is good too, crisp well shredded lettuce, yeah I'd, I'd recommend them if you're here on, on tour, if you're a tourist looking at the beautiful sights of Bath such as that spire in front of me and you fancy getting away from the chains in the town centre and some of the places that probably rip off tourists a bit then uh, I'd pay it a visit, yeah. Thanks for joining me, folks. Nice dirty burger in the poshest town in England. Until next time, right on.